absolutely. Okay. Um, first of all, somebody could turn my mic down a little bit. It's just really, really loud. Um, there is a matter that I'd like to raise in the committee today as to which I do not seek any action or decision now by the chairman or by the committee, but I think it's an important issue and I just wanted to flag it. In this bill is a, in this committee is a bipartisan bill on what is uh, rather inartfully referred to as beneficial ownership. It's a shell corporation bill. Um, as we all know, money laundering, international terror, criminal activity, international kleptocracy, all of them are facilitated through shell corporations, and sadly, America is quickly becoming the uh, home of these activities through our shell corporations. Um, the bipartisan Grassley White House, Graham, I believe you're a co-sponsor as well, Mr. Chairman, uh, Bill, is before us here in this committee. We are also seeing action on this issue in the Banking Committee, which has a closely related bill. I just wanted to flag that I hope we can begin to take up our bill and maybe think about a markup for it. Uh, at the end of the day, I think the Banking Committee bill is the one that we should end up with. Um, I think the consensus in the Senate is that having the responsibility lie at FinCEN, the financial control center at uh, Treasury for this rather than with individual secretaries of state would be more acceptable. But I think if we are starting to do something here in judiciary where we've had this bill longer, where it's been bipartisan, where it's, uh, where it's at the core of our oversight on money laundering and other criminal activities, uh, that sends a good signal to banking that will encourage them to move forward. And again, I want to reassure all my colleagues that if we do get something through judiciary and through banking, I'm more than happy to support the FinCEN version of the bill, but we can't do it here without losing jurisdiction. So that's why uh, I would like to go forward with our uh, bill, and I think we've worked out most of the problems, at least on our side. Uh, Senator Coons has been uh, supportive despite the early objections from Delaware. The chamber has backed off its opposition. The American Bar Association has backed off its opposition, and in fact, within both groups, banks and the money laundering section and so forth are, are keenly supportive. So I think we're in a good place to begin to make some progress, and I just wanted to flag that and ask that um, we stir the pot a little bit on this, if you will. Thank you. I, I couldn't agree more.